The on-target game improvement system first develops a scoring profile to determine those areas of your game contributing most to your high scores. This is done by tracking the shots you hit on the course in four areas. Driving, approach shots, the short game shots around the green, and your putting. Golf is four games in one, and your scoring profile objectively measures and compares your skill scores in those four games and identifies your strengths and weaknesses. Now first, let's look at your driving performance in both distance and accuracy. The distance you hit with your best drives is good enough to score well. You don't necessarily need to hit your best drive better, just more often. As far as accuracy, you did have difficulty hitting fairways during the round. Now, because of the high winds, the statistics from that round are less reliable, but my observations are that in the area of driving, it is more important to work on those things that improve your consistency and accuracy before I would worry about in trying to improve your distance. Your statistical goal for the driver is to hit more fairways. When you play, I want you to track how many fairways you hit each round. Now let's look at your approach shot performance. During the round, we hit approach shots only from the fairway, and the majority of shots were from 150 yards or closer. Your approach shot performance is another area you need to improve the consistency of hitting the ball solid and the accuracy of the shot so you hit more greens. To hit the ball consistently solid is going to require you to more consistently control the location of the low point in your swing arc. Your low point fluctuates from hitting the ground several inches behind the ball to not hitting the ground at all and you skull the shot. Your statistical goal for approach shots is to hit more greens from 100 to 150 yards from the fairway. Now let's look at your chip and pitch shot performance. Golf is about hitting targets. With driving, your target is the fairway. With approach shots, your target is the green. Your target for chip and pitches is to hit it close enough to give yourself a reasonable chance to make the first putt. That target is at least 18 feet from the hole and ideally less than 9 feet. Bob, during your round, you hit 64% of your short game shots inside of 18 feet and 18% inside of 9 feet. Those are pretty good stats compared to other areas of your game. Being inside of 18 feet but further than 9 feet most often will result in a two-putt. So to really impact your score with your short game, you need to get inside of 9 feet more often. A statistical goal for your short game is to get inside of 9 feet 30% of the time. Now for putting. Bob, during your round, I show that you had only one three putt. That is very good. Even though you had only 55% of your first putt stop less than three feet from the hole, you made almost all of your second putts. You are very good at making short putts. I would like you to improve your speed control on long putts. Your statistical goal for putting is to increase the percentage of long putts that stop less than three feet from the hole to 75%. Next in the on-target system is to prioritize the most important areas to work on first. I gave you statistical goals in each area, but what statistical goals are the most important to reach? I want my students to have one full swing project and one short game project. Your full swing project is to hit 50% of the fairways you play. Your short game project is chosen from the shots around the green and your putting. And I want your priority project to be to increase your percentage of chip, pitch, and bunker shots to get within 9 feet from the hole 25% of the time. Once these goals are met, we can look again at your overall statistics and set new goals and projects. Now that we've identified the problem errors and have set some statistical goals to achieve, we need to identify what's causing our current problem and implement a correction. To hit more fairways, you need to make the mechanical changes I described in your full swing report. This will require at least one session to establish the change and learn the drills to do in your practice sessions. You will probably need a follow-up a few weeks after that to make sure you are still on track. During both the first session and any follow-up sessions, I want to also work on your short game project. This work will be to continue the fundamentals we covered in the school on your short game. Part of the on-target system also is to continue tracking your statistics when you play a round of golf. By attending the golf school, you now have a one-year membership to the On-Target Golf Association website, which has my power tracker where you can easily record your statistics. The member side of the website is in the final stages of our newest update and will be ready to use shortly. When it is, I will send you the log information you need and the tutorials that show how to use power tracker. The email I am sending will show you several options to choose from. 
on which lesson program might be best for your situation.